All right. So how many of you have ever taken a picture? I'm sure all of you have taken like a selfie before. Okay. How, what happens when you take a picture and you're moving? Blurry. Unless you have a special setting or a fancy camera that has action control. So when I was in Spain, I was in Spain between my 11th and 12th grade years of high school, and I was there for two weeks, and I took many pictures. Can anyone guess how many pictures I took in two weeks? Seven. 1,200. Higher than 1,200. Wow. 2,000. Yeah, it was like a little over 2,000 pictures in two weeks. And my teacher would always say, Kristen, what are you taking pictures of? I'm like, I don't know. I'm just snapping them. And I was like, I'm never going to be here again. Like, this is awesome. And I kept snapping the pictures and just didn't know what I was taking a picture of. And when I got back, over half of those pictures were blurry. They were completely out of focus. And they, I didn't know what they were. I was like, what are these things? And so here's an example of one of the pictures. So can you guess what the thing on the left is? It's not a house. The Holy Grail? It's something in a, yeah, it's something in a cathedral. It's an altar in a cathedral. Um, can't really tell if, you're not, if you don't know what it is. So, so yes, that's, that's an altar in a cathedral. Now on the right side, how would you know what that is? It's a stained glass window, and it's in focus compared to the left one. And I thought of that because in life, sometimes life is like that. We tend to have a different path, a different focal point than what we're supposed to. Sometimes we are so busy with activities and with sports and with work, if you work, or um, just keeping busy that we forget to focus on Jesus. We forget to focus on God and um, his plan for our life. And so a lot of times our lives are like the left picture where it's just like we don't have a clear understanding of what we're supposed to do in life. We don't understand exactly where we're supposed to be going and what God has called us to do because sometimes we get too distracted to listen, to focus, and to see where he's guiding us. And so on the right side is what kind of the idea of how we're supposed to live life in that focal point of Jesus and fixing our eyes on him and like it'll be clear like he will show us the way if we're listening and if we're if we're focusing on him but sometimes we get a lot of times we're like the left picture and we get distracted with many things in life and so in Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 it says Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of, of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Fixing your eyes on Jesus. How many can tell me that that's a hard thing to do? Because I, I, I know it is. I'm pretty sure everyone in this room can say that. Because that's a hard thing to do. Fixing our eyes on Jesus. Because we live in a world that's broken, full of sin, that entangles us and distracts us from doing what God's called us to do. Now, I'm not saying that activities and sports are bad. But sometimes we get so caught up in them that we forget to see what God is guiding us to and what God wants to do through us. And so... Um, that's our whole point this morning, is one focus, and how Jesus is our focal point in life. And um, Dan's going to talk a little bit more about that in a little bit. But will you guys pray with me? Dear God, we just thank you for this morning. We thank you for the weather outside, that the sun is shining. And um, we just, um, I just thank you for everyone that made it here and that is here. God.